expired listings. How many folks are actively working with a realtor in your business? Not nearly enough. If you folks are not working with a realtor in your business, now is absolutely, once again, the time to be working with a realtor in your business for a variety of reasons. One of those, again, is pre-foreclosure because you will be able to get good leads from your realtor or folks in pre-foreclosure who have these loans that they simply want to walk away from. But let me tell you some of the other things that your realtor should be doing for you. Do we have realtors in the room today? Wow, a whole bunch of you. Here's your shameless, um, uh, your shameless plug, realtors. Here are the things your realtor should be doing for you. They should be bringing you MLS listings with keywords in them. Seller motivated, pre-foreclosure, estate, handyman special, needs TLC. Let me tell you about one I just bought. This realtor thought they were being really brilliant. And in the listing, they put fire sale. The house hadn't burned. They were just trying to sell it quickly. But nobody else knew that except me. I bought that puppy. OK? So these are some of the things your realtor should be doing for you. The other thing your realtor should be doing for you is bringing you old MLS listings. Almost expired, not quite. These are the sellers who are sick and tired of having people trounce through their property weekend after weekend after weekend, and they are much more highly motivated to sell their properties. Right. The other thing that my, that my realtor does is he will bring me properties that he can't list. Too close to the pre-foreclosure date, there's no equity in the property and they can't afford to pay his commissions, things like that, and he will bring me those types of deals. The other thing your realtor should be doing for you is to be providing you with the expired listings. Let me sh share with you a little deal that I did here in Florida that came from an expired listing. There it is. This is a three-story house. For you, those of you who don't live in Florida, we don't have basements here. This is a true three-story house. The house is 13,000 square feet. Six bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, ladies, two and a half kitchens, guys, two-story game room, nice game room, um, swimming pool, jacuzzi, sauna, steam room, weight room, tanning salon, whole nine yards. House has got everything. The house belonged to a, long story short, the house belonged to a fairly well-known pitcher for a baseball team. Shoulder injury, career over. Unfortunately, and he's a really, really nice guy. Unfortunately, though, he hadn't saved any money at all during his career. And he was unable to continue making the payments. The house appraised for $1.2 million, and it needed about sixty dollars to $70,000 in rehab, which he also was unable to afford. Now, an end user is not buying a million dollar house that needs 60000 in rehab. And so this guy was stuck. The house had been on the market with a realtor for 18 months, had not sold. We ended up buying this property for $650,000. We did $70,000 of rehab to this property. Let me tell you a little bit about the rehab. In the, it had a huge family room, beautiful, beautiful family room. Cornered, had, had a big old fireplace, stone fireplace in the corner. Had a big screen TV on the wall, which came with a house, by the way. Full stereo system, whole nine yards. Had a whole, like a big bar that went across the back of the room with six seats. And you walked into the room and the floor went squish, 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 squish. Beer. Beer. Do you know what beer smells like after 18 months? Yes. Cash. Yes. Smells like cash. <laughs> we did $70,000 of rehab to this property. I fell in love. The builder that built this house, this house is four blocks from where I live. Builder that built this house built the house that I, that I live in now. My house would go in this one twice. We came that close to moving in. 
I even called up Ron Legrand one day and I said, you know, what do you think we should do? And he goes, well, you could screw up one if you want to move in. But we decided all in all that the, the likelihood of this paycheck was just too big and we didn't want our kids moving back home. <laughs> and it's just my husband and myself and three little kitties, so you know, it's too much house. So we put it back on the market and we ended up retailing this house for a million dollars cash. We walked away from that closing with almost $190,000. If you guys are not working with a realtor in your business, you absolutely need to because there is a gold mine in expired listings. 